we were able to transmit brain-derived information from one rat to another and basically got this pair of animals collaborating to solve tactile and motor tasks. You know, there's a behavior box where the first animal is located and this animal is called the encoder because he's the one who does all the work. He's basically using his forepaws or his whiskers to perform either a motor or a tactile discrimination task. And while he's doing that, we are monitoring uh, its behavior and recording the brain activity that is being produced by this animal's brain and transmitting in real time all these uh, electrical signals to a second animal that is called the decoder. Well, this animal has the lucky job of not having to do anything for getting a reward. The only thing it has to do is to receive this brain activity uh, into its own brain and then decode the pattern of information that the encoder has generated and indicate to us, uh, as through behavior, what it is that the first animal has discovered out there in the environment. So if the decoder gets it right, both animals get a nice uh, juicy reward. And that's what they want. And that's how they collaborate to actually get this job done. Uh, here you see in the next slide, uh, encoder animal waiting for a light stimulus that tells the animal which of two levers he has to press to get a little bit of uh, a water sip. And the light says either press left or the right lever. So when the animal gets the light and is about to press the lever, we record the activity, electrical activity, from lots of cells in the motor cortex of this animal and instantaneously transmit this information through the brain of a second animal that is in another box and cannot see the light and cannot see what the first animal is doing. This is the decoder and he's receiving this information through very tiny little pulses of electrical activity that are delivered to the homologous part of the brain that the encoder is using to solve the task. So as the decoder gets this information and basically decodes the brain pattern originated in the encoder's brain, it responds to us behaviorally by pressing one or the other uh, lever to tell us that he got it right or not. And what we discover is that in 70% of the times, this decoder actually can get the task right without even seeing the light, just by decoding the brain pattern that the encoder donated to it.